is review the brushes, kind of the workspace, the brushes here on the toolbar, and then how the layer masks work in Photoshop. Um, I've already gone through how they work in Pixlr, but this is, a, the format's just slightly different in Photoshop. Um, so one thing, again, I want to talk about workspaces. You can always go to Window. Um, this is the paint one right now, but just to show you, I can press on this. I went through some updates today, so sometimes it's slow when I do that. Um, so you can see there's Essentials, which is the default space. I can reset painting to be the default one because um, I've worked on it in a while and kind of customized. Um, you can do just the regular Essentials workspace, whatever works for you and makes sense. Um, so I could reset, I'll just reset the painting workspace back to what it looks like when you first open it up. Okay, um, so again, tools are here. When you pick a tool, these are the brushes, um, the layers, things like that. Right here, uh, this is what I always do in Photoshop just to make my life easier, is I double click, double click on the background layer so that it's unlocked, and I can rename it at this point if I would like, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. But just so you know, that's always locked. You usually work on top of it, so it's not a big deal, but sometimes you're trying to work and it's not doing anything, so that's the issue. It's locked, the first layer. Um, so I'm gonna create a new layer, and I'm just gonna pick a brush, and I can either go in here, that's something with the new Photoshop, they've load, loaded these special brush palettes um, you should just see them loaded when you have the painting workspace. Uh, so you can see the general brushes, these are the default, dry media, those are the Kyle drawing box, um, they have kind of more of an artistic look to them, and same with the wet media, the Kyle's paint box, things like that. Um, so I'll just pick up something fun like the wet blender. Here, go ahead and I can adjust the size. Again, you could find it from this drop down menu. Too, and I could have adjusted it here. So why don't I just stay in the paintbrush, the brush panel, and I can adjust it there. And then if I want, I can also use colors from over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll start with a grayscale. Okay. So again, with these digital brushes, uh, they're very, they're more complex, uh, so they're gonna take a little time sometimes to load and paint. Um, I'm just kind of going back and forth and building up space. I'm just kind of doodling and working abstractly here. Not really worried about what it becomes um, because the main goal is to show you how these brushes work. And you can see this one works very much like paint because it picks up these are ones that you want to use when you're blending or you're working on something that's um, supposed to be kind of painterly uh, because it picks up the other paint and kind of builds like that. You can also layer on top. So it's working a lot like an acrylic or an oil painting brush would work. So I'm just gonna kind of leave that there. That's my little abstract pat pattern. I'm gonna create another layer, just that plus sign here, and then I'm going to work on top of this with maybe a brighter, another color palette. And maybe I'll just pick, let's see, maybe something flatter, the inking thick and thin, increase the size. It's also the size that makes the brush work kind of slow. So just so you know that too, the bigger the brush, the more the leg. Now what I'm doing is I'm going over my old design because I wanna show you how the layer masks work. Now say I do like this pink, but I just want a small variation. I just go ahead and click on the swatch down here and it brings up that color picker where you can go from white to grayish, to dark. Okay, so this is full spectrum. This is hue, tint, 
shade tone in the middle here. Okay, it's kind of a color theory language there. You don't need to know all of that, but um, kind of gives you the idea. So I'm covering up some of my old design. Okay, there we go. That's just kind of some layers of color and value. On this layer then, so on layer two, down here, let me go ahead and take this out so you can see it a little bit better. I am actually gonna create a layer mask and reveal some of what I did under here. So to do that, I have the layer highlighted and then I move down to this little tool down here. Now you don't wanna use it over here, that's different. There's the same thing exists here, but that's a masking for the document and that's a little different. So the layer mask you have to do in the layer panel. So click on that and you see you get an extra little board here and that's what's gonna reveal what's underneath. Okay, so if you're painting on here, that's gonna be normal. If you're, and you can see the colors are the same, right? But when I go to this, they switch to black and white. Black takes away and white brings back. So that if you remember that, then it's pretty easy. So this time now, um, I'm just gonna kinda go with a normal brush. So um, that fancy brush isn't necessary for layer masking. And I'm gonna go on top of here, and I have a soft one so it's not stripping away completely. Um, I'm gonna do Command Z, that's gonna take away what I just did. If I did a hard brush, it would actually strip away just a little bit more. See that? So you can kinda decide if it's a soft brush, if you wanna do that. So I'm just gonna kind of reveal through this masking my piece underneath. I'm gonna go back to the soft brush. Oh, sorry, that wasn't a soft brush, that was a clone stamp. Um, I'm gonna go back to this soft brush and do a, oh, I'm on the wrong tool, apologies. Um, back to the brush and I'm gonna go to a general one, soft, and then take that up. And I think I'm just gonna kinda, and then also if I take the opacity down, it's only gonna strip a little bit of it too, see? So you'll get kind of a fuzzy, that sort of thing. Okay, kinda revealing what's underneath slightly. Okay, that is all for this tutorial. So a little bit with brushes and a little bit with layer masks.